In this lesson, we are going to be talking about how to style a quick component. So let's take here a simple quick component like this hello message component. We can see that right now this hasn't got any styles applied to it. We haven't defined anything for container, for example, and we are just styling the message itself using an H1. Now imagine that we would like to turn this instead into a div and that we would like to add here a plain CSS class called for example hello message. Now you are probably thinking why not just attach an external style sheet with a link tag in the head of the page, add a CSS class named hello message and that would be it. Well, there are a couple of problems with that approach. First, imagine that the hello message component is never rendered into the page. Then you would be loading the styles for that component without the styles being actually needed, which slows down the loading of the page. So we only want to include the styles of this component if the component is effectively rendered on the page. And we only want to apply the styles to the page once. We don't want to lower the styles multiple times. So that excludes another approach that you might be tempted to try, which is to simply inline all the styles of the component here in the component template. So you could be tempted to just add here the hello message CSS class here and style the component this way. The problem with this approach is that every time that the component gets re-rendered, the styles get reapplied to the page. So that delays the re-rendering of the component and might cause unnecessary, unwanted flickering effects on the page due to the CSS being applied multiple times. So again, this solution here of inlining the styles does not work as we want. What we are looking for is a solution that attaches the styles to the page only if the component is rendered at least once and it only attaches them once per the life cycle of the component. So Quick provides us with a couple of options to do just that. Let me show you the easiest one to use first, which is the use styles API. So I'm going to add here an external file where we're going to be adding the styles of this component. Let's call it the same name as the component, hello message.css. And we're going to add this to source control and inside it, we're going to add here some styles. Let's set here the font size for the message. Let's say that it's, for example, 30 pixels. And let's just set here some font weight. Let's make this bold, for example. And let's change the color to, let's put this to blue, for example. Okay, so we have here some styles that we want to apply here to this component. So now, how do we lower the styles here? First, we need to import this file before anything else. So let's go ahead and let's import it. And we're going to be using the following syntax. We are going to import our styles as text from the file that exists here on the same folder as the component, hello message.css. And we're going to add here a parameter that we are passing to the runtime that is performing the import, telling the runtime that this should be imported as plain text and associated here to this styles import variable. Now we can use the styles as text and apply them here to the component using the use styles API, use styles dollar. So here we are going to pass the styles that we have imported as text and with these the styles have been automatically applied to the component. Let's then switch here to the browser and see the styles in action and as we can see everything is working correctly and if I inspect here this line here we're going to see that the hello message class is getting applied to this and we can see here the styles correctly applied as expected. Now, if we click here, we are going to see where the styles are placed on the HTML page. And as we can see, the styles have been appended directly to the HTML page here in a inline style tag. 
So the server side rendering part of the framework has created an HTML payload for this page whenever we hit this request here to the root of our application and that server side rendering process has decided that because the component hello world needs to be rendered then the HTML should be applied as an inline style tag. So the style is already applied to the page, it has only been applied once by the server side rendering process and after that when we re-render here the HTML on the front end, if the data changes for example, then the styles will no longer have to be reapplied. If by some reason in this page we would never have to render this hello message component, then these styles here would have never been added to the page. So in Quick, the styles of a component are only added if necessary and this helps to keep the payload served to the browser to a minimum. We are only serving the styles that we need to render the page and nothing more. So this is how use styles work and next we are going to learn another alternative way of loading the styles in your application that I actually recommend. It's also as easy to use as this one but it will help you to remove from your code base a whole category of bugs. Let's find out what it is in our next lesson.